Welcome back to another episode of The Eminence and Shadow, and this should be the episode where a big pop-off moment is going to happen. I hope we're going to get like an I'm Atomic round two, but they can't repeat it again. They can't just simply spam it. I mean, I would probably still get hyped, but that was like a one-time thing to really like catch us off guard. I hope that there is like something like that, but even more hype, or at least comparatively. Okay, a couple guesses right off the bat. Sherry Barnett's dad. I think he is the knight in the, that armor that has the artifact that's causing all this. Why? He's been very sus about very pushing Sherry into researching the other half of the artifact. Because again, that ball and that sock thing, they go hand to hand. They're supposed to be like a combined artifact thing, I think. Um, that's pretty much it. Other than that, he, like just because it felt so unnatural that he was like forcing Sherry to do that. But also, we haven't seen the dad after all this shit went down. And it's just been... You know the skeleton uh, not, not the skeleton guy the guy with the the knight with the like the bunch of red eye helmet thing another thing is something about his ambitions i'm not really sure what that really entails um he's supposed to be like a super super important like a uh, master i think that's what sid said like this old dude was like a previous uh the school's i don't know like some kind of like tournament winner or someone really important but other than that that's just pretty much it i think he's uh he is the end boss right now for this arc um another guess is and that's pretty much it. Oh, there was the other thing with the ball. Okay, so if the artifact mecha mechanism is, it's able to like store, like basically like suck away magic. But if there was able to be a uh, magic that was greater, something that exceeds the amount that it can take in, no amount of humans could obviously do that, but Sid exists. But if it does do that, then it's gonna apparently explode. But you can contain the explosion by having the other artifact come together, I guess. But somehow Sid is gonna use I'm Atomic or something really crazy. Um, Everything's going to blow up, but I would expect Sid to also save the situation and make it even more cool. That's pretty much all I got. Let's start to this episode. It was one of the two people that was assigned to protect uh, Sherry. One of them was like a ex-fiance to new? Wonder what's going to happen with that. Maybe it's an important plotline. But yeah, all the girls are ready. They're, they're ready to just strike. But Shadow isn't ready because it's not nighttime yet. And if it's not nighttime, you can't, you know, flex his cool long black robe, right? That was the entire logic. Sherry's dad? I don't know. We'll see. The end of a lie. Whose lie? Hmm. Surely not Sherry's dad's lie. Huh? Oh, Jesus. That her mom or sister getting killed? The fuck? It's definitely her mom or sister. Why? Who stabbed her? Father? Did you? Huh? Why didn't you look at who stabbed your mom? The hair was pretty similar from the back, right? It's gotta be him. Come on. No, this is all calculated. This is all calculated. But why would he kill the mom? Because she wouldn't... She, Because she wouldn't do the research for him. But Sherry would because he groomed her. Gotcha. I think I think it makes a lot more sense now. It's it's pretty obvious that the dad is the the guy in the night, the guy with the eye of Aberitz. This guy, man. Ooh, the leader of Shadow Guard. No, he just coughed. Who else coughed before? The dad coughed. I remember distinctly. <laughs> Voice again. Again, the voice is identical to Sherry's dad. Same mustache, too. You really threw it? But well, maybe it just attracts it and it kind of goes right at it. It's like, I don't know. Just a homie missile kind of thing. But will it suck it in? Or was he waiting for this? The barrier is down. Okay. Everybody should move in now. Unless there's a debate. Unless the dad had this all planned. <laughs> Well deserved, yes. <laughs> oh, let's go, Oriana! Rise up, my fellow knights! Don't give up, Oriana. Your love, Sid, is about to come save you. <laughs> oh my god, Oriana, you're not gonna die? Come on! Oh my god! My love. My sweet Sid. What is she remembering? The fuck? Huh? Shadow is here! Oh, look at that drop! Are you okay? 
Because you got to talk in the shadow voice now, right? My beautiful sword wielder. And like, bro, it's like he's not even trying to hide his face. How could no one recognize him? Whatever. It's not a big deal. It's just so funny to me that like, at least try to fucking be discreet. But all he has does is he puts a hood on. That's it. Right. Shadow Garden type. Oh, he said the last! Because they kept saying we are Shadow Garden, but this is the real Shadow Garden, baby. God damn. I want the girls to use their, you know. I don't I don't like the cape and the hood because it covers their really <laughs> sexy tight slime, you know, battle suit. <laughs> but sure. Are you by any chance my sweet Sid? You know, the face kind of looks familiar, but whatever. Hey, yo. So is this all part of the dad's plan? Maybe he didn't give a shit about anybody here. He just wanted to bait up the other artifacts and take it away and run. That's his true ambition? I don't know. Gamma! Oh, our entire school's getting fucked. I mean, I guess we can just rebuild. Maybe not that big of a deal. Everybody pretty much got out safe. Right? Yeah, Orianna's out too. Every time I saw Orianna, I just remember the, you know, the champion Orianna from League of Legends. What's a distinct name? Shadow, where are you at? You're supposed to show up now. Here we go. Wait, he's not talking in Shadow's voice. Oh, he's in Sid mode right now, right? Oh, why is he approaching a Sid? But he already knew, of course, yeah. Bro, it was a bit too obvious, wasn't it? Like... Also, the way that you were so desperate for the artifact and that you were never seen when, you know, shit went down... His disease. And this artifact is supposed to heal him. And you killed her because she refused to do research? Yeah. But it's too dangerous. Don't. No. It's an evil artifact. I will not. There it is. That's why you killed her. And then you groomed Sherry so that she could do the research. What's more ridiculous is that Sherry was right there. She was outside. Like, how did she not realize, you know, it was him. Like, she watched the entire thing outside the door. And like, the guy was right there as, you know, like, like right behind you! Oh my god, I guess she was so overwhelmed by her dead mom right in front that she never even, you know, looked behind to see who stabbed her. Okay, whatever. Oh my god. Also, Sid is just actually reading a book on the shelf when everything is burning. It's so edgy, so cringe. I love it. I wonder if he even knows what book he's reading. I bet it's the fucking dictionary for all I know, man. Okay. I got rid of all that shit. I don't need it. All I needed is to become a nuclear weapon. <laughs> fuck friends. Fuck family. Fuck everything about my life. I just need to become atomic myself. That's all that matters. Well... I don't know if that's true, but as long as he gets to be super cool while doing so, and if they get saved, you know, it should be fine. But he's really battling him as Sid. I wonder why. Because there's no need to be Shadow in this- Background technique arts back again! <laughs> One shot by the source. <laughs> And then Shadow appears right behind or something. <laughs> In the Shadow voice, of course. Shadow. <laughs> A map! <laughs> How can you not do it? <laughs> Whatever, it's still so cool. Yeah, you need it. Don't don't worry, man. Don't worry about us. Do do you. What's the true value? Wait, it just hit him back. The fuck? Oh, is this supposed to make him transform? Okay, okay, okay. But this is borrowed power. And remember what Stitch said when he used I am atomic. The true almighty does not borrow their power. It's from within. I'm not sure how he became atomic. 
and also the slime does that count as himself? Whatever, whatever. You are not almighty, like Sid. I mean, Shadow. Let's see what happens, though. Okay, go ahead. No, he's not even moving. This is one-handed. He's using two hands, or he's just using one hand stationary. This is some next level coping after he blocks all your attacks one-handed. Oh, I admit it, you're pretty strong, okay? This is the part where you run, dude. As an equal. Pretty cool attack. Did it do anything, though? Ooh! Nani! I'm disappointed. I thought I found my good match. But even the previous sword tournament master... The winner was not enough to fight me. No, he's not even showing... Like, what? Just... He better be going all out. Like, come on! Oh? No, I'm sure the rest of our girls in Shadow Guard will take care of that. Oh? We just want to be cringe and cool, that's it. Right? Yeah, we don't really give a shit about that. But right now, he's talking as if his organization actually exists. Like, you know, when he talks to the girls, like, this is all still supposed to be a play and act, but Sherry's about to show up. Can I hear an I'm Atomic? Sure, go ahead. Then we'll just fight the world and just still be cool. Nani! Not again. This is a bit too easy. Oh, oh. Oh. Just... All the limbs. Get on your knees. Not like that. The mom. This is revenge. But Sherry's gonna show up me like, wait! Never mind. I thought Sherry would show up me like, no, don't kill my dad! But we don't get that cliche here. Man! Okay, this is still good, but like, I guess I, I wanted like an I'm Atomic scene so much. It's fine. <sighs> now what? I guess we just leave? Sherry? She saw it all. But this is for your own good, I promise. But to her, it's like basically deja vu of mom died, now father died. How could you? But I promise, he was evil. Poor Sherry. Does she have, like, no one now? Even though he was pretty much using her. But, like, forgetting that, like, she has no family. But we have Sid! Your f true love, right? Shadow, come on, comfort her! Kind of true. Is it better... Because if she really knew the truth, then it would be even more of a mental damage. Maybe this is better off. Wait, this is supposed to be Shadow? This poor girl. Dude, I feel so bad. I feel so bad for her. What's she gonna do now? Hmm. Damn, we only got her for a couple episodes. I actually really liked her. Like, she was a bit too vanilla and kind of like normie, not like Alexia, right? She's actually like a proper girl, whatever proper means, but I really enjoyed her. Her being all clumsy and... And like, blissfully ign ignorant at times. You're gonna leave? But what about the chocolates we gave you? Even though he never really intended on love, you know? Salute, Sherry Barnett. It was nice knowing you. Unless? Yeah? Why don't you join Shadow Garden? I can't really do that, can we? You gonna tell us? Revenge? What was that look in her face? That look in her face just for a frame, it looked like... Like vengeance, didn't it? Her face twisted there for a second. Is her life mission to find out who killed her mom and now her dad? Maybe? And this somehow converges with Shadow Garden in the future? Does she become like our main, I don't know, antagonist? No fucking way. No. Yo, that'd be insane though. I'm not interpreting this wrong, right? Yo, she 
Jesus, this is setting up for the future crazily. And that's the episode. It was a pop-off episode. It didn't pop off the way I wanted to, but we got a nice, you know, Sid attempting to fight him and be like, oh, and then Shadow shows up. That was that was a really nice touch. Okay, at the end though, at the end, we really didn't tell, you know, Sherry anything because it's better if she doesn't know. Like, if she knew the truth, maybe it would be even more mentally damaging. But does that really make it right? Doesn't she deserve to know the secret or, like, all the secrets that's been held from her? Maybe. Because now it's kind of being set up as Sherry is going off broad to... I don't know. I'm not sure exactly why why she's going off broad. But her mission seems to be to find out what happened to mom and maybe dad and take vengeance. This is... What if this somehow... You know, in the future, direct to Shadow Garden versus Sherry Barnett. That would be kind of nuts. I hope that it doesn't turn out that way. That's a bit too serious, right? This show's not supposed to be taken so seriously. But in the future, maybe we'll tell her the secret when we do eventually cross swords somehow. I don't even know exactly how Sherry would fight us. But at the end, when, she, when we asked, there was like a frame where her face distorted with like anger and vengeance. That wasn't just me seeing it, right? Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm reading too deep into things. But they're setting something up for the future. Sure, this is not the end of Sherry Barnett. But hey, if you stick around this for long, if you stick around this long and if you enjoy my reaction, you already know what I'm going to say. Check out the other videos and playlists to my channel. If you watch another video immediately after this one, it helps the YouTube I go push like my small channel to recommend us so that I have a chance to compete with some of your favorite reactors. Until next time, guys, take care.